Well, it's a nice cold winter's morning. We've got the Ganubia River here in the background, nice and close to home. Short little trip today, taking the small boat out and testing the new um, the Yamaha 15 horsepower two stroke. And in a head up river, pump some mud broad. We've already got some fresh sand broad we pumped yesterday, and one small chocker at Can Marine. It's a nice fresh bait. And we're going to be doing drift fishing, so no sinkers, moving baits, and hopefully we get some big ones. Nice fresh mud prawn. I'm gonna pump a few more of those. And then we've got the chocker and the sand prawn as well. So I'm gonna drift a little combo baits and some baits, maybe prawns on their own as well. See if we can get some fish just now. There we go. Some nice mud prawns. That's my quota. Got 50. Always remember, stick to your permit limits. 50 mud prawn per person per day. And yeah, got some nice size ones in there. So we're gonna go rig them up. We're gonna head down river and hopefully get some nice fish today. Right, well, there we go, we're on our spot here, we're going to drift down towards the mouth. It's going to position us with the electric motor, keep us parallel to the bank here. And um, got my little sand prawn rig. Circle look, no sinker on you. I'm going to flick it almost onto the bank and drift it off and see if there's some grunter or bream around. There we go guys, <laughs> our drag screaming. Don't know what we got on you. There's some small fish biting, so this one I've changed to a little 1 0 circle look, so very small. Big fish like this, you never know, it could be just in the lip. They're going to play in GF. Well, it should be a nice fish the way it's fighting here. It's been holding under the, around the boat now, just bobbing up and down. There we go. So it's a lot of fun on the little Mega 4 7 foot rod, it's the medium. Nice and light. The Daiwa Z2500 reel, nice and small. Got the braid on, direct flight. And I'm um, very impressed with the drag. At first run, it's just so smooth, and this is where you need it next to the boat now. And keep it a little bit loose because it's quite a grunter. Though, or you'll think he's tired, and all of a sudden he does that last burst and he's tightened up and snap, you lose it. So. There we go, <laughs> that's a nice size spotted grunter. Another thing, just to remember before I handle the fish. Always wet your hands so you don't take that slime off the side of the fish which protects them from all the parasites and that so always keep the health of the fish in mind. Here's his main gill plate. That second gill plate it's like a serrated razor blade. Always stay clear of that, it can slice you quite badly. Let's see how that circle looks got him. A tiny little circle look, <laughs> little one. Oh, got him nicely around the jaw there. And there you can hear why he's called a spotted grunter, he's grunting away. Last I spotted Grunter, I measured him, he's about 62 centimeters there, so I um, haven't got a conversion chart yet, but I'm guessing he's about 2, just 2.2 kilos, somewhere around there, so we'll check it later. You can see on the biggest spotted Grunter, they developed this big bump on their forehead, and you know they're a decent size there. So let's get this guy back in the water here quick. No reviving necessary there, let him out the water for a minute or two, and he kicked off nice and strong, so nice fit spotted Grunter there. I just want to show you how I'm rigging the mud prawn today little 1 -oh circle look and then you can put him just through the tail but the way I'm doing it for the small little fish that are picking them off quite quickly so I'm just threading it into the tail and then right over going all the way through and then out by his head pull the tail over the other hook and that's it Let's see if we can get another one Oh, there we go, another fish on. Actually looks like it might be a pig nose grunter. That's why he had those bursts of speed, they're like little steam trains. But um, for their size, they put up a very good fight. Quite solid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was quite nice, different species. Pig nose grunter. Haven't actually caught one 
you know, in quite a while in the Ganubi River, so nice to see that they're here and it's not a bad size, there's a fair size there. Maybe just over 30 centimeters between 30, could be close to the 40 mark. Pigno's going to a nice fit fish, nice and strong, and I think he's going to take off pretty quickly as soon as he feels that water. Should that. There he swims. I'm surprised, normally they take off quite quickly like that spot he did earlier, but he's gone off nicely. Hopefully he'll grow, maybe catch him when he's about 60 centimeters, and we'll have about a half an hour fight. A little bit further down river, the wind's picked up and it's got another fish on you. Looks like a small cob. That's something different, another species, the third species. We had the spotted grunter, the pig nose grunter, now a little baby cob. There we go. <laughs> nice light tackle fin. Well, there we go, we've just moved upriver. It's actually a colour line here from the rain we've had. There's nice clean water and then the brown water meeting and we're putting flicking prawns just along there and just had the first pickup. Looks like another little spotted grunner. We'll get him back quickly. Right, there we go. It's a good day's fishing for me. Just outside East London, about a five minute drive from home. Nice light tackle fun on the Ganubi River and started off well with that 62 centimetre spotted grunter and a few smaller ones, a little big nose grunter in there and the small cubs, so some species for the day. So get yourself some light tackle, head down to the rivers and have some good fun like that.